hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my 2018 luxury wish list so i've seen so many great videos about this some of them have been realistic wish lists some have been unrealistic wish lists that's said by the youtuber themselves not by me at all um and I thought I would give you, I would say I think this is my realistic wish list of 2018. However, it always changes. Um, there'll be things that will go out of this wish list, things that will come in. Um, so yeah, I thought I would share it with you. So if you are not already, make sure you are subscribed to my channel by clicking the red button down below. And if you like these kinds of videos, give me a thumbs up and let me know down below um, what is on your 2018 wish list, but let's get started. So I've got my trusty iPhone out because I, otherwise I actually sat down and thought about this as a whole. <laughs> Sounds a little sad, sorry. Um, but I didn't want to come and sit on here and kind of just like look around the room and then think what I want. Um, so the last few weeks I've been slowly putting into my notes on my iPhone some things that I've been interested in and things I've been interested in for a while. Um, so this is quite a short wish list. Um, I don't usually have a big wish list. I'm very concise with what I want. And a lot of the time items will come on my wish list. And then after three weeks, I'm like, oh God, no, why, why was I even thinking that? Um, so I'm pretty happy with my wish list and how it's looking. But um, yeah, let's have a look. <clears throat> so the first item that I have wanted for a very long time. So when I mean a very long time, I'm talking six months plus. Um, the Valentino sandals. So I want them, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, I want the ones that have the big block heel and they're not too high um, and I want them in a nude colour or one of the copper goldy very natural colours so they're really good for summer. Um, I just haven't got a really beautiful pair of nude heels. I mean I have a beautiful pair of nude heels, the Christian Louboutin Pegals. Um, they're not comfortable. I want a comfortable pair of nude heels I can really use to dress up an outfit. Uh, so yeah, that is the first item on my wish list. So the second item on my wish list has, I've been kind of denying it for a few months, I reckon about six or seven months. And then I keep seeing them on Instagram and some of my favorite YouTubers and Instagrammers are starting to pick them up, pick it up. And I've fallen in love with it. Um, but it's the Lady Dior bag. I want the one with the chain and I want one, I think, in the mini size. Oh, it's such a classic bag. I know I think the resale value is not particularly good, but I would be getting it for a forever bag. I would want it in neutral colour or um, just not a too bright colour. Definitely not black. I've got too many black bags as I'm looking on my viewfinder and looking at all this behind me. Um, so yeah, the Lady Dior is the second item on my wish list. So I'm hoping to pick that up um, maybe when I'm in London next or in Euro Europe, like same, you know, same thing. But I'm going back on May 18th, 17th. Yeah, so that's on my wish list for then, definitely. So the next item, some of you are going to go, oh, nah, stop it. <laughs> and it is the Louis Vuitton phone case. It's the trunk phone case. And they've just bought it out, I think, in the last week um, in the iPhone X style. And it, oh, it really makes my heart sing. And I don't know why, I always kind of was like, no, it's too bulky, it's too big, I don't want it. But now that I have the iPhone um, X, it's a much smaller iPhone than my previous iPhone, which was the 7 Plus. So I feel like with the case, it wouldn't be any bigger than the iPhone 7 Plus anyway. Um, I usually used to swap my phones all the time, but since I've just got the iPhone X, I probably will have this phone for at least a year plus. Um, and I could never justify it because... The trunk cases, I think, are 1500 Australian dollars, which is crazy. Um, and I still really can't justify it, but I really want to justify it. So I'm on this kind of, might be on my wish list in a month, it might not be. Um, but I would really, really like one of those if money was no object. <laughs> so my next item on my wish list is the Van Cleef and Arpels, um, I think it's the Alumbra. Uh, collection. I really want a bracelet or a necklace. I don't know. It'll either be in gold or rose gold. 
Um, and I either want like the blue bit in the middle or the green or the I actually have no idea. That's more of a Christmas wish list for this year. So we're talking, you know, 11 months away. Um, so I'm going to have to look more into that and start trying that on. I've wanted that for years, but I've just never gone and got one or asked one for Christmas or my birthday. Um, so I'm definitely hoping that will be coming into my collection this year at some point. Um, obviously not both the necklace and the bracelet all at once, just one or the other. Um, I always get scared having really fine jewelry because I'm pretty like gung-ho, rough, like move around fast and I don't want it to catch and come off. That's why I love my love bracelets and my Justin Clue and kind of like really like bracelets that don't just rip off. Um, same with necklaces, uh, I always have to take my necklaces off. I put this on for filming, but it'll come off pretty much straight afterwards because I'm just so careless sometimes when it comes to things like that. Not careless, but because I move around really fast and I'm always on the run and running around, they just rip off me, they just fall off me. I have lost that many beautiful bracelets and necklaces that it just puts me off buying really fine bracelets, but I think I have to get over that because I really, 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 really want one of these. Um, a lumbre. A lumbra? Someone's going to tell me how I've said that so wrong or butchered it in the comments, but that's fine because I probably should learn how to say it. So the next thing on my wish list, and this is probably the unrealistic item if I'm very honest with you, is I would love a tennis bracelet to go between my loves. I'm actually missing a love at the moment. It's my rose gold one. It is currently at Cartier because it just kept falling off. Something is wrong with the screw mechanism. And it's, to be honest with you, been an absolute nightmare. But they're... The customer service I've had at Cartier has been really good and they are dealing with that now. Anyway, <laughs> random story aside, um, yeah, so that is something I would like. And then this is, so I have to admit this is not a big wish list. I mean, some of the items are super expensive, but I mean, the list of items is not a big list. So my final item on my wish list is actually not um, luxury items. Oh, well, I guess it is, but it's not like handbags or shoes or jewelry. I really want some beautiful artworks to put in my house. At the moment, we have nothing, so we've just moved into our first house. And it's a real process. I think when you actually have bought somewhere and live in a house, you... You want everything to be perfect. So whenever I've been renting or living at home, I just buy stuff and I love it. I don't think about it. Now I'm in my own home, I overthink about it. So now I just don't know what to get. Um, I need some big artwork for downstairs in the living room and the dining room and in bedrooms. We have no artwork, seriously. We've got a few prints, but no big artwork. And that is what I want. So that is a project. Um, and that is on my wish list. Definitely for 2000 and I was about to say 2017. 2018, I really have got to get this. Got to get this down packed. I'm still saying 2017 and we're already in February. So I need to, I need to stop that. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it wasn't a super long wish list. But I am one of those people that I just... I don't ever have big wish lists. I'm very concise. And as I said at the start of the video, I usually cut everything off my wish list because I... Just don't want it anymore. Um, I go through stages and I think I know I really want something if I've been wanting it for, you know, six months plus. So everything I've mentioned to you on my wish list has been a six month plus kind of item. But I hope you like this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave down below in the comments some of your wish list items for 2018. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. I'm facing the battle.